Hey YouTube, um, haven't been doing a whole lot of videos here lately. I've been real busy with regular life. When Alex from the Intel Hub sent me a link to an article he had put up, I have to say I was pretty disturbed by what I was looking at. It's titled, Justice Department Constitutionalist, Anti-New World Order Activist, and Survivalist are Potential Terrorists. It's a it's a document that says investigating terrorism and criminal extremism. And before I really get into it, I'm going to read one of the listed names that are in here. Patriot Movement. The Patriot Movement is a general term used by its members to describe a collective movement and individuals on the extreme right wing in one form or another. This practice dates back many decades. In the 1930s, many on the far right referred to themselves as super patriots. In the 1960s and 1970s, it was common to refer to the Christian patriot movement, but this term is less common now than then. Among the types of individuals that can be found within the patriot movement, are white supremacists, sovereign citizens, tax protesters, militia members, and sometimes anti-abortion or anti-environmental groups. Sounds like cool people to me. And I am a self-proclaimed member of a leaderless resistance patriot movement. So this project was supported by grant number 2007 NCBX K002 awarded by the Bureau of Justice Assistance. The Bureau of Justice Assistance is a component of the Office of Justice Programs, which is also includes the Bureau of Justice Statistics and National Institute of Justice, the Office of Juvenile Justice and Delinquency Prevention, and the Office for Victims of Crime. Points of view or opinions in this document are those of the author and do not represent the official position of policy of the U.S. Department of Justice. Mm -hmm. That's why they printed it. Copyrighted 2005 to 2009. Institute for Intergovernmental Research, all rights reserved. It reads, Introduction. In order for criminal justice professionals to effectively combat terrorism extremism, it is imperative to obtain as much information as possible. Extremist groups often develop languages of their own. Some have created terms that are unique in English language, while others have given a new, expanded meaning to relatively common words and phrases. Wait a second, they're trying to mess with my head here. Let me put on my 3D glasses so I can see it all. See if anything pops out. In addition, certain symbols, events, organizations, and individuals have particular significance for members of some extremist organizations, none of which may be f familiar to the investigator or prosecutor who has not previously been involved with such cases. Investigating terrorism and criminal extremism, term and concept is a glossary designed primarily as a tool for criminal justice professionals to enhance their understanding of words relating to extremist te terminology. Phrases, activities, symbols, organizations, and select names that they have encountered while conducting criminal investigations or prosecutions of members of extremist organizations, including our terms that included our terms that are germane to members of an extremist movement, also defined our words that are singularly employed by specific extremist groups. Legal terms that have been given new meanings by groups adherents are also defined. Similarly, Certain terms that describe activities and tactics commonly undertaken by extremists are also included. Significant groups, organizations, movements, and publications that are important for an understanding of terrorism extremists in the United States and that may be encountered by law enforcement officers and prosecutors are also documented. And as much as this publication is primarily intended to define terms, individuals are indexed by name, are limited in occurrence. However, there are some people who are of such importance to certain segments of the extremist movement that their very names are equated with that cause. Therefore, some of the better known terrorists are included. <laughs> the key criterion for illusion of a term, phrase, or name in this publication is the likelihood that investigators and prosecutors may encounter it during the scope of their duties. 
The fact that an entry appears in this publication does not imply a connection to illegal activity. As an example, the location Waco, Texas appears in the glossary. Investigators may hear reference to this location while working on certain anti-government cases. Many, oh wait, I live in Waco, by the way. Many terms and names appear under one or more individual entries. For this reason, a concerted effort was made to create a thorough index allowing for a comprehensive search of terms and interests. This publication was initially prepared by Mark Pickavage, Ph.D., 1998 as a guide to common terms used by anti-government extremists. Subsequent revisions were expanded to include many terms used by left-wing and international terrorists. <laughs> Terrorism and extremism movement are dynamic and continually changing. Consequently, this publication is also in a state of continual revision. Suggestions for terms and names to be included in subsequent editions are welcome and should be sent to SLAT, Post Office Box 12729, Tallahassee, Florida, 32317. Um, Admiralty Court is listed. Agri-terrorism, attacks on agriculture, defined as the cultivation of land and raising of crops and livestock. So farmers are terrorists. Al-Qaeda, funded 1998, 18, 19, 1989, Al-Qaeda is an Islamic extremist anti-American organization that grew from the Soviet war Afghanistan and its primarily ar architects were Osama bin Laden, Ayman al-Zawahiri, and Zinu Brzezinski. American Pistol and Rifle Association Formerly the most extreme of the various pro-gun pro organizations in the country with some chapters essentially constituting militia groups as is merged with the gun owners of America. Anarchist cookbook, anarchy. I mean it goes from A to Z with uh, with all these different groups and basically everybody is listed in one of these groups. Okay, you think I'm wrong? There's some there's some really really interesting things in here. Of course they're putting uh, Aryan nation people along with uh, biblical money, gold and silver. Many members of the Patriot Movement believe the Bible mandates the only lawful money consists of gold and silver coins. Bilderbergers, along with the Trilateral Commission of the Council on Foreign Relations, one of the three groups targeted by right-wing extremists for conspiring to dominate the world, because they do. It's in their charter. Black helicopters, bogus churches, Illegitimate churches used largely to evade laws dating from the heyday of the Posse Comitatus. A frequent tactic of right-wing extremists has been to create churches in order to escape scrutiny, or most frequently to avoid paying taxes. Let's see where my time's at here. Christian Identity a hate-filled religious sect descendant from British Israelism that has come to dominate much of the leadership of the extreme right in the United States today. The key belief of identity adherence is that the people of white European descent are actually descendants of ancient Israelites of the Bible. Therefore, the Bible is a message written expressly for whites who are God's chosen people. <laughs> Christian patriots a term used especially since the 1970s and 1980s to describe people sympathetic to right-wing ideology. Christian Reconstructionism, a theology common among many of the Patriot movement, is essentially argues that biblical law should be the basis for reconstructing, reconstructing earthly societies. In other words, it espouses an essential theocratic government. Citizens Arrest Warrant um, you know, let's, uh, Constitution Party, a minor right-wing extremist political party formerly known as the U.S. Taxpayers Party, which is one of the primary parties that, that especially try to appeal to the Patriot Movement because they believe in the Constitution, constitutional money, constitutionalists, a generic term for a member of the Patriot Movement, it is now often used to refer to members of the sovereign citizen or common law court movement. Sometimes the word constitutionalist is also used. Let's 
let's see what else is in here. I'm going to skip forward through quite a bit of it. Um, but it goes A to Z. So, like I said, just about everybody's listed in here. Let's see. I wanna, I'm going to read a few more terrorist names for you, okay? Tax protest movement, like the Tea Party, a movement consisting of people who do not simply want to avoid paying taxes but generally claim that they should have not have to pay them. The right-wing movement started in the 1950s and 60s and is constant, concentrated on Inter interpreting the Constitution, U.S. law, and the tax code in particular. Um, maybe I'll try and link it down below, but check out American Freedom to Fascism by Aaron Russo, a man who was governor of the state of Nevada, a, a state that would probably know a little bit of something about money and taxes. Let's see here. Tea Party's not listed in here that I see. Underground refers to a person functioning clandestinely. The vast majority of underground criminal extremists in the United States are not actually hidden from public view. Instead, they live in what appear to be a relatively normal existence under either of their true identities or under assumed names and legends. It is only when they participate in or take steps to commit a violent act that they make an effort to conceal their activities. Unorganized militia, militia, vegan, Wigger is is in here. And here's the one that tops the list for me. Yahweh and Yeshua. Names referring to God and Jesus, respectively, often used by Christian identity followers. Mm. You know, if my believing in the Constitution or my believing uh, in the fact that we're coming under a police state, tyrannical society in America. Land of the free, home of the brave. Then you can consider me an American terrorist. I consider myself a patriot, somebody who loves this country, somebody who loves the law of the land. And those who are going against the law of the land are the true rebellious ones. And I believe that God warned us about those who would rebel. It's disturbing that just about every different kind of people in society can be listed under these different names. Take a look at the link and see how many of them you may be considered a terrorist as under. And then think about what country you live in, what belief system you have, and whether or not you're willing to follow these people into hell because this is where it will take this country. And you better damn believe that I'm resistance all the way. Until next time, YouTube. I'm out.